Well. The peaceful way of starting a video off, that's for sure. But how's it going, YouTube? Liam from Lisa Australia here, and welcome to a look at Ori and the Blind Forest. Now, I won't lie to you guys. Uh, I was struggling to basically figure out which video, or at least which game to record for, if I look at my notes real quick. Okay, so, Ori and the Blind Forest is part of the 2015 uh, highest rated games along with Arkham, uh, Batman Arkham City, Undertale, and Fallout 4. Now, I know that I do have Fallout 4 and Batman Arkham City, but I haven't been able to really uh, download them and reinstall them on my PC because there's some decent sizes. But I knew that I could actually download and grab Ori and the Blind Forest on my Switch, which is what I'm playing on right now. Um, and I know that from a friend of mine, he has played this game, and I and he says that it's pretty good, um, along with a few other games that I hopefully will try out in the next one. So, this is 2015's one of 2015's uh, most high-rated games, um, and we're gonna check it out. Uh, sign in. Ooh. All right. So now that we've got that all sorted out, so let's get into the game. All right. Oh, we have backup slaves. Good. Uh, plays for seeking a good challenge, average difficulty, one life mode. Oh, I'm definitely not touching that, <laughs> especially through my uh, play through this. We shall always remember the night when I lost Ori to the Great Storm. Music sounds great, by the way. I just want to point that out. I'm not sure what to expect of how the game's going to look, considering this is on the Switch. I'm hoping that it looks fine. Hey! Hello! Cool. Oh, we playing right now? Oh, yeah! Swallow's Nest. Alright, again, I want to quickly remind everyone that this is a look at, and I don't expect to play... Um, for most of these games, especially in the series of videos of looking at some of the most high-rated games uh, throughout the last few years, I don't expect to make a full series out of this unless I feel like I should, but we'll see what happens. Naru embraced my light. Aww. Hmm. As a child of her own. Kinda looks like a stitch. Like a very glowy stitch. So the game, I think, is running at a 60, but I think the animations are running at a 30, if I'm not mistaken. Hello? music and just and the art style of this game like again i'm not sure if there's like any changes that was made to bring this game to the switch but so far it looks good Ooh. oh look at all the oranges or mangoes or mandarins
All the fruits. Eating them all. It's over here. On that fateful night. When I lit the skies ablaze. I called out to Ori. Yet hope never came. Oh wow. Oh wow. Just in so decay through the passage of time. Life withered and decayed. was blind. Still, hope showed its face. Man. It just amazes me of how a simple designed... Well, I mean, like, there's so much detail within this art style. What the heck was that? Whoa. Yeah, it's basically a detail like this, and you can still pull off such an amazing game. Oh no. Emotion uh, that's made me the feels right there. Look at him, an orphan once more. Poor little fella. With no reason to stay. Searching for my life. Oh. 
so weak and so frail. When cries were met with silence, were met with silence. Whoops, excuse me. Uh oh. Those thorns don't look good. And hope went astray. When my child's strength faltered. Last breath was drawn. Light revived Ori. A new age had dawned. Or drawn. I don't I don't need to see what the last word was. Hey! You would have heard my uh, the achievement sound uh, go off. Yep, there you go. Oop. Game saved. Wow, what an intro. So we're now in the proper main portion of the game. Hold B for a higher jump. Sunken Glades. Win. Ow. Okay, so the green market is the health. Okay. Wow. Okay, so it has a bit of like a... Smash Brothers movement. Oh, what's this? You found a small spirit light container. Spirit lights have been added to your uh, circle bar. Okay. Find more spirit containers contain ability points. Ah, oh, so it's kind of like an XP bonus. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I have a feeling the ward is probably going to be a bad idea. So, what? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, it is, is. So the movement is a little bit floaty, but that's okay. Oh, but man, look at this game. Like, even for being on the Switch, it still holds out well. Oh, okay. You found a life shot. Collect these to restore your vitality or your health. Go. What's that? You found an energy cell. You can now, uh, you can now collect and use more energy. Remember to use energy to create a soul link and save your game. Ah, uh, uh, hold A to create a soul link and save your game. Wee. Okay. You found some spirit light. You can fill the uh, XP bar uh, to gain a, an ability point. Okay. So I know that for this, this is not much of a combat based map. This is purely, it's basically a, pa a platformer puzzle. And for what we just witnessed there, because that we can't really attack as much, we have to sort of, in the deep forest, already find what it was lost. Uh, 
or press Y to pick up the tiny light. Ooh. Wow. My strength is returning. I am seeing, I believe that's pronounced the, the pronounce it, the light and the eyes of the spirit tree. I was lost in this glen when she lost loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But still, can you hear that? They must have followed you here. Oh, so there is combat mechanics. Okay. Ow. Alright, you've gained an ability. Create a soul point and tap A to the nearest, uh, nearer to access the tree. Oh, to the access the menu. Okay. Uh... Okay, so I was entirely wrong. Good thing that that actually cleared things up. Uh, let's see. It allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. Okay. It allows you to shoot some. Most pickups now float to Ori. Ooh, that would be cool. I think I'm going to uh, grab the, the quick flame ability, because that way it allows me to have more... Oop. I'm not sure... What... Oh, there it goes. Choices, choices. Okay. I kind of like it of how that um, it has its own way of showing achievements, but the way that you can hear the Xbox is because it's uh, playing through my PC, and, that's, and OBS is picking that up. Ow. Get out of here. No. Their lights shall return to me. These words the spirit tree once said. In the glade past the caverns, we'll find him. There is a path ahead. Ooh, oh, look at this map design. Oh, that map design. Can I, can I look into that? No, I cannot. Again, it already looks like a, a very glowy stitch. That's all I can really think. It looks like a glowy stitch. Alright, so they carry XP as well. Alright. So that completely threw me off guard, because I always thought that this was like a... At least for what I remember seeing in the trailer, I was way off by the looks of it. Um... So it has a bit of combat mechanics. Cool. Oh, what's this? We found an energy shard. Energy shard restores power to Ori's energy cells. Okay. Oh, whoops. What's this? Spirit wells are ancient structures that have been used to quickly traverse uh, all of Nibel, which I believe is the area we, we're at, or at least the world's location. The light and the, of the spirit wells will also replenish our strength whenever you are wary. Okay. Right, press Y to save your game. X ah, so it's a quick teleportation slot. Or at least uh, I... Um, What's I'm working for? It's a it's a quick travel. I'm trying to think of the. <laughs> There's a word for it. I just can't think it on the top of my head at the moment. Oh man. Like, I'm just so amazed by this so far. I, d I know I've said this on numerous occasions of how I understand now. Of how that this became, like, a very highly rated uh, game throughout throughout uh, 2015, I think it was. Like, I never really sort of expected it to be this good so far. We have another ability point. Game saved. So we'll now grab 
allows reusing soul links and shortens down cool timer. I don't need to worry about that as much at the moment. I think I'll go with Spirit Magnet. Because usually I do like to... Ow. Usually I like uh, having sort of those little magnets with, um, with some games to pick up items when they're close by. Oh, what's this? Uh, you found a keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember to that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. Ah, okay. Oh. This spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. The required keystones must be nearby to reach the spirit tree. We must pass the spirit caverns that lie beyond this gate. Ah, I see. Okay. Wait, what was that? Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, so I gotta remember that's right trigger. Aha! Open sesame! So yeah, this is, it's a, basically this is a Metroidvania styled game, realistically. And I have nothing against that. I, I sort of want to get into, like, play more Metroidvania-like games. Uh, ow! Uh, ooh. Spirit cabins this way, Hollow Grove. Um, does it tell us where to go? Ah, uh, I see. So, I guess we go towards... Oh, ow! At least we have a bit of light coming through. Spirit link ready. The health. Wow. Has a bit of that, um, I know I've played a little bit of Rayman, um, Legends, I think. I haven't really touched much of Origins as far as I remember, but it kind of reminds me of that in terms of the art style a little bit. But this is, like, way more detailed. Alright, this is a map stone. One of the many ancient markers created to chart the forest of Nibble as it grew. There is a piece missing. If we can find the map stone fragment, we're able to repair it. Ah, okay. Alright, well, we got a, uh... A keystone. Oh, man. This is just so fascinating. I can't wait to play more of this. I would have to think that this is definitely a game that's worth probably doing a series of, so... So yeah, ow! So I think that's probably might what I might have to do. At least it depends on what you guys. Do you reckon if I should actually do another, uh, do a proper series of this? Let me know in the comments, because I will definitely, definitely be considered doing this one uh, a Let's Play series, I reckon. Soul Link ready. Where there were those that turned to hope. Oh, there were those who turned to hope. When she ravished and killed. Ooh, what's this? The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we're alive. He is the reason we grew. When he called out to, to find you many years past, we were attacked, wounded, or and killed by our foe. 
Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer and feel the light of... Uh, Phil? I believe that's how you pronounce it. The spirit inside. Dominus! You learn wall jump. This ability... To use this ability, press the... I think that's the stick button toward the wall and press B to continuously leap forward. Alright. Yeah, there we go. What's this? Uh, you found an energy cell. You are now, you can now collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link. Aha! So it's like a heart container, which I reckon there'll be like heart containers um, throughout the game. Ow. <laughs> I need to remember and watch, keep an eye out for those thorns, because um, they were, they're definitely hurty. That's for sure. Oh, what was that up there? All right. So how do I get up there? Oh wait, what was that? Ring kindle. Ah, uh, I see. So it, um... So it's like, uh, saving that. Oop. Ooh. I want to actually go back a little bit, because I want to see where, um... The, where that warp, uh, stone is. I wonder where that leads. Um, because there's a wall there, if I remember correctly. Alright, so. Save the game here. What's up here? Alright, this statue looks familiar. I've seen it before. Hello? They found the home. Oh. Of the child who embraced our lights. I remember them many years ago when the spirit tree was but a sprout. Naru, the young one, looked after us whenever she could. <sighs> oh, a bit dark here. Black root burrows. Ow. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> so it's gonna replay through replay through that bit, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Alright, so I probably need something in order to see better in that particular area, because that's completely dark up. Which is fair enough. But I'm gonna go back the other direction. This is this is so intriguing right now. Alright. Let's see what's up this way. What? So we can't break that yet. I think I need another ability to do that. What are you? Oh, you found a life cell. You now retain more vitality. More, find more uh, life cells to increase your uh, stability, survivability. Ha! -ha! See, I thought so. So we now have four hit markers instead of three. How cool is that? Get out of here. Right, game saved. 
So I need to figure out how to get up there and grab whatever's up there. But, lucky enough... Oh, it's kind of like a... Kind of looks like a frog just with, um... Human-like arms. That's all I can think about of that. Ooh. I think that was like XP that I picked up there. the other keystone. Whee! Ah! So what have we got here? Haha! -ha! So yeah, that's the map stone fragment. Return this to the map stone to unlock a new area map. Uh, where was that located? That was located down here, wasn't it? If I remember. So if we... This way? Here it is! Alright. What have we got? Aha! So now, we can follow along this direction, and that will lead us to our main goal. Marking the way. Alright, and open the door. Alright. I can't break those. Grab you. Ow. Anything over here? Hey, secret! What's this? These energy gates were sealed by the spirits of the past. If we collect enough energy cells, we will open the path. Ah, I see. Okay. So we need four energy cells in order to open that up. Fair enough. Okay, can't get up that way. Kind of got it lucky with now getting hit on that one. Ow. Okay. So timing is key for this for this particular bit. All right, there's the door. We need four this time. Okay. does these things take? Okay. Ah. Very floaty, like I said. Okay. Open the spirit gate. Somber, they found me. Dormant and still. We told Ori the tale of her misguided will. The 
ancient being. Ori, the spirit tree. He must have used the last of his strength to save you. Come now, hear our story. It was the night of the light ceremony. It was our light that she hated. I called out to Ori, but my child never came. Look at all that. It's an owl. Or rather, it's a very uh, shadow consumed owl. Uh, stole sign and it was the end of our days or Kuro I should say you received the spirit tree's light he put our fate in your hands uh, listen carefully now you must understand the spirit tree sustained uh, the three elements of light and in turn they ba brought balance and kept Nibble safe or Nibel the element of waters high atop the Jinso tree. The element of winds deep within the uh, four lone runes. The element of warmth beneath the fires of Mount Horu. To restore Nabel to its former self, we must rekindle their light before it's too late. First, we need to find beyond the spider coves on top of the tree where the waters once flow. Ah. The thorn felt swamped. Find, objective find the spirit tree. Alright. And it's a warp point as well, which is good. Oh, there you go. So. I'm going to end the video off here, but I am really... Oh, it's kept track of my deaths. <laughs> Which is to be expected, I guess, considering that I'm still fairly new to this game. Imagine trying to play this with one life. Because I know that there are some games that have those kind of modes where it's one life. Uh, if, if you die once, then that's, the, that, that's game over. I can't remember what game it was that does that. But... I am really looking forward to actually playing more of this, and I think I might turn this into a, a Let's Play series um, in due time. I'm not sure when exactly, but if you guys want to see a Let's Play series of this game, or see me do a playthrough of this game, then say so in the comments below. I will happily do so, because I am really intrigued by this episode, uh, by this video. Oh, I'm intrigued by this game, is what I meant to be saying, because it looks beautiful, and again... I know I've said this numerous times in the past few games that I've played, but I understand how and why this game had become popular. Um, I can't remember what awards this game won, or if it won any sort of uh, awards by any means. I would assume that it did, because this is just a beautiful looking game, and the music and the soundtrack is so, so good so far. And yeah, again, I can't wait to play more of this in due time, but... Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then click the like button. Click the subscribe button for more videos anyway. Until then, this has been a look at Ori and the Blind Forest. I'm Lee from Blues Australia. Until next time, Liam out.